Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, every single enemy, every single everything in the Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by a real, uh, a real frontrunner, Gary Butterfield. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! <laughs> Gary, you ever been on a horse? Yeah. That's funny to imagine. It's, uh, it's funny to be on one. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a weird experience. I find horses pretty unnerving. You know what, Gary? We can't. We can't. This is, I know we joke a lot about doing a lot of like my, bro- my brother, my brother and me adjacent content. We can't go into the horse well. The, they have a horse well? It, Gary, they have the deepest horse well in podcasting. You know what? I'm going to say something that I think is, will be funny, but I'm legitimately irritated by it. Uh-huh. Is that Cole has let me walk down that garden path so many times. Yeah. And now I'm <laughs> just thinking about how many of the things he talked about with horses were actually those guys. Yeah. No, they horses and ghosts are their like the okay. joke of their go-to stuff. Well, and uh, Jimmy Buffett, like a lot of things I think are funny, they think are funny as well. Yeah, except they're actually you friends know? with Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, well, I mean, I, you, you've brought that out at me a couple of times as if that's what I want. Gary, this. I'm saying that for Orb, you need to get Jimmy Buffett to come <laughs> talk about Venture Brothers. <laughs> Jimmy Buffett, who's your favorite member of the Peril <laughs> Partnership? Uh, is, uh, is Professor Blind Impossible Rage? in there? Nope. <laughs> Well, fuck, I tried. Society. I tried to meet you halfway. Me, James Buffett, <laughs> I, did. J- Jimmy Buffett, I'm actually honestly pretty, you know, pretty impressed by that poll. Yeah. Well, I Jimmy just Buffett love Stephen Colbert Brothers and the other four. guy. Yeah. Like, I just could There was too long of a break between seasons, you know? Yeah. Let me play a little song about it. Uh, Wasted what... away again in Murderville. I don't I couldn't pull it. Mm? Not U- no. Unterland? Un- there we go. Very good. Uh, I didn't know what this did until. What's Baron today. Underbite up to, Gary? He joins uh, the Revenge Society as well. Good for him. Yeah. So, a character uh, in search of any jokes. They 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 talk about. It. They're very open about how they do not know what to do with him. Yeah. <laughs> keep thinking it'll be funny. Um, I didn't know what this did. Did you? Uh, yes, I think I did. I think I've looked it up before. This is Golden Horseshoe. Yes. Uh, feel uh, lucky? Question mark. Uh, it gives you a, a fairly small chance to get a double treasure room where you can choose one of the items. It is very easy to have this item many times and even have its effect pop and still not know what it did. Never know it. Yeah. I don't know what the what the actual chance is. It's 15%. I mean, no, I mean oh. uh, before this of getting a double treasure room because that seems to happen every once in a while. I feel like it's low and it's usually, if I'm getting double treasure rooms, it's because I got more options. Uh, it, it can just happen. Yeah. Or there's uh, options, know- whichever one it is. I know it happens without an item sometimes. Uh, I almost, yeah, there's a rare chance is what the wiki says. It doesn't say what it is. Yeah. Um, but that, I don't know whether that rare chance is doing it or this is doing it. Yeah. I mean, you know? this is, it's a good thing when it happens. Cause it's, you know, yeah. it's, it's essentially giving Effectively you a free, a free re-roll. re-roll. Yeah. Jinx. Um, and there's so many items and trinkets that are just like makes a chance for treasure rooms to show up mm. where they usually don't show up. Oh, here's your Coke. Uh, mm. Sell it to me. It's going to be hard for you to give me a Coke. Mm. I shouldn't. They, we shouldn't be able to jinx over Skype. It's a really powerful mm. weapon. Mm. <laughs> you have to mm. drone strike me a Coke from Amazon. Mm. <laughs> Buy me a Coke on Amazon.com. Mm. I'm waiting. Same day delivery. <laughs> What's that? Did you swallow a small clown? What was that? Oh, hey, little clown that lives inside Will. Hey, little Wait, man. no, you said you said my name. You said my name. Oh, oh, oh I, I just ate that. the clown. Okay. Oh, here. now you're going to get... No, don't. I'm down in the, in the esophagus. Oh, I got a knife. Should I start cutting? Uh, cut downwards. <laughs> okay. oh, oh, there's a lot of chipotle acid. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Why'd he get the hot sauce? He's gonna Clowns shit so bad drowning later. in hot sauce again. Oh, Gary. Now I can me. finally have a prostate orgasm. Gary, has anyone ever drowned in hot sauce? Yes. Who? who? At like a plant? Yeah. Of course. God, what like, a bad way to die. And what a bad hot sauce that would create. You don't know. You don't fucking <laughs> know, man. True. Well, hot sauces do are in a continual like one-upsmanship contest. Yeah. They go to the adult hot sauces aisle where it's all like, we will blast your asshole and stuff like contains human corpse. Like it's, it's coming. I mean, the human corpse is not going to add anything to the, the heat profile. There's no, you don't got no Scovilles in you. Oh, it depends. (laughs) 
<laughs> Matt, Matt Scoville could do it. The guy who does the running the game D and D videos. Sure. Um, yeah. Uh, what's the hottest hot sauce you enjoy? The oh, Chipotle hot sauce. Um, I don't know. I don't. You know, I'm not a big. I, I don't go very hot. Like the lime cilantro at uh, Fire on the Mountain is typically yeah. as hot as I go. I've had like I do one of like associate with you mild personalities and stuff. So what makes sense. I do associate with like a mild personality. I'm a very mild person, so. Gary. At no point yeah. uh, during this recording have I made Frankenstein sounds, literally pounded my desk, and then uh, imagined a small clown drowning in pain <laughs> huh? in my body. Yep. But while flailing wildly with a knife. It's true. No, it's – I'm <clears throat> – uh, yep, there's blood. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gary, would you rather I, cough up blood or shit out blood? Ooh, what a question. Um, I have shit out blood. Yeah. Uh, it's unrelated to the other thing I've been talking about this, this blank bank of episodes. Um, and it's not so bad. And it's not so bad. It's not I, so, that's what Dido was singing not about. so bad. Dear Gary, we're sticking your finger up your ass. It's me. Um, but, uh, it's me, the I, tiny well, clown that lives in your ass and occasionally that, makes you bleed. It'd be a horrible to swallow a tiny Please M&M. Please stop poking me. It's not working. Or the peanut M&M. Um, the, uh, I, I, when that happened, I got real scared. I called a doctor and looked up online and everything. And apparently if it's pink, that's fine. Because that means that you're just uh, out exterior blood. But if it's black, no good. If it's black, send it back. When it comes to poop blood, that's what you got to do. Mm-hmm. Black means that your body's been digesting it and it suggests internal bleeding. Dear Gary. Uh, Gary, this your, is a your M&M impression is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Drink the loud ass motherfucking barking dogs. Uh, do you, I don't, I don't think I've picked this up because I don't ever remember what it is. I've picked it up because I'll pick up a trinket if I don't know what it is. I, I just think there's so many trinkets that I haven't had this one. I didn't already have a trinket. I did know what it was. Yeah. Like if you don't mm-hmm. have anything, if you don't have a trinket, this is better than nothing, right? Yep. Yeah. Not so bad. Not so bad. You but know not that's so not either. just Stan, right? That that was an original song that he did. Yeah, it's a Dido song. It is. Uh, yeah, who presumably named herself after the ancient queen of Carthage. Well, she also the song did not come out too long before that Eminem song did. Yeah, no, Stan. Stan was hot on the Dido trail. It's real weird to just have a song and then have another song that samples it. It samples it she, so extensively. Yeah, it, it, yeah, that's a very weird move. It's a what, weird what is, song. Do you think those guys were friends? What? Do you think they were friends? No, I don't, Gary. I don't. I don't Dido think. I don't think that Dido, the ethereal singer, and Marshall Mathers, the uh, spaghetti <laughs> entrepreneur, have much in common. I'm just very curious as to how that whole thing happened. You see that? He's. I mean. I mean, people. You know, label talk to each other. Uh, yeah, that's right. True. Uh, you see that he's he's starting a mom's spaghetti restaurant. I did see that uh, from the AV Club. Hey, Gary. Gio thanks Moya. for reading. You got the ad blocker huh. off. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I've ever turned off an ad blocker Fuck for anything. Me. Fuck so. me, man. Come on. Di- Fuck Dido's still me. looking pretty good. Dido's aging really well. Yeah. Good. Um, yeah. Uh, Patreon.com slash DuckFeedTV. Turn off your fucking ad blockers when you read my stuff. I can't. I'm talking to the audience. <laughs> oh, it shows me ads if I do that. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> Gary, do you know how I get paid? <laughs> we give you a small portion of our income. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Gary, I'm paying rent off my my guppy money. I live in a shoebox. Let me let me pull up AV Club real quick and see if I see any ads. I might have turned it off at some point. Okay, great. I'm getting a lot of ads for other websites that you guys do. Are they other websites in the Geo Media family of properties? Yeah. Oh, fine. When I scroll down, I'm getting uh, the one ounce American Buffalo coin and Zenny Optical, and I'm getting ads. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, they so sound I, like cheap ads that are not paying us enough, but. Well, I, I can't control. If there's a button I can press to show me more expensive ads, I Gary, will. you like those Marvel movies? Look at the Marvel movie stuff online, so it'll give you the Marvel movie ads. I, I hmm. get yourself well, some. Great. Get yourself some free guy ads. I'm I'm getting ads for Peacock Minions right now on the uh, fandom. Nice. Okay, so oh, on the fandom, fuck off. I didn't. I didn't. I still have ad blocker going. I certainly didn't turn it off for this. They found a way to get around it. Yeah. Well, then have yeah. their people talk to our people. I need money, man. I will. I'll call them. 
<laughs> yeah. And then also ratings and reviews on Apple Podcasts or Podcast Addict. Like this was left on Apple Podcasts by uh, oh, Flogiston for Life. Oh. Created an Apple ID at 4.20 a.m. for this review. <laughs> Will referenced my favorite writer, Tim Powers' book, Medusa's Web. The geometric patterns don't always fry your brain. They just let you temporarily share consciousness with every other person that ever has or will look at the exact same pattern. The frying happens if you get overloaded, sharing way too many consciousnesses. Conchai? Conchioxin? Something like that. Anyway, read Medusa's Web and the Anubis Gates, both five-star books. And that was a five-star review. I don't think people use our reviews enough to promote other things. Yeah, or to correct you on minor details about books. Yeah, uh, that I've only ever heard about because I read TV tropes all the time. When you said Tim Powers, at first I thought it was Richard Powers, Mm -hmm. who went to my high school. Gary, that would have been an odd thing to have happened, and I'm glad that it didn't. I I was over at Andrew, uh, your landlord's partner's house, and uh, they had a a Richard Powers book. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, that guy went to my high school. My creative writing teacher taught him, and it really impressed Andrew. Yeah. I'm I'm impressed by his being impressed. Gary, I, honestly, I opened Twitter while you were saying that. Oh, that's that's okay. I got uh, Twitter open right now. <laughs> yeah, I got I got. <laughs> now, to be fair, I got distracted by a Gary Butterfield tweet, so I suddenly mm-hmm. had Gary in my eyes and my ears, and they canceled each other out. And that's not all. Uh, you got to get a multi sensory Gary experience. As someone who has, I have mm-hmm. to recommend it. Yeah, looking at Gary while he's talking, amazing. Yeah, smelling Gary while he's. Talking, Taste, also t- amazing. How do I can Gary come with a different... he spits when he talks? Oh man, do I spit? We have a song in in my very good band Modridge, creator oh, I... of our second EP Euro stuff. I forgot. I forgot uh, to. I forgot to mention Modridge out now. Mm-hmm. Modridge, uh, where I uh, I do a sound during it, uh-huh. uh huh, and we we practice it. So I do that seven or eight times in in a row. <laughs> You know, over yeah. and over. And I'm just like hawking fucking entire loogies into the microphone, making fakey explosion noises. It's pretty gross. No one else can ever use that mic. Pretty nasty. Gary, when people talk about the creative process being beautiful, I feel like they mm-hmm. weren't thinking of that anecdote. They never, they're never talking about practice. Practice is doing the same thing over and over and over and it's not beautiful. Some it's people ugly. call that the, def- the definition of madness. It's very the definition of madness, especially when you're uh, checking out our house. Or it must be love. Are these Modred songs? Or House of Fun. Are these Modred songs I have no way of knowing? Madness songs. Oh, Madness is a band. Yeah, they did uh, Our House. You know Madness. There's two bands. Yeah. Modridge Madd- and Madness. Madness and Modridge. The double of M2 Modridge are. and Madnesses. Yes, <laughs> the, the Modridges of Madnesses. Gary, real quick uh, as a fan, uh, yeah. what's the name Modridge from? Well, it's a think, great question, first of all. Uh, I was just Googling. I had an errant thought. Because I like the word avuncular, which means uncle-like. And it's like, is there a word for aunt-like? And it turns out it's Modridge. So your avuncle is your father's brother, but your Modridge is your mother's sister. Vendrick? Vendrick. Aldia. Aldia. All right. All right. <laughs> I, didn't know whether, <laughs> I didn't know whether something else was coming. Nope. <clears throat> 